my pipe, my pro pipe wasn't centered properly. And no matter how, uh, how much I tried to 30, 20, 10. Stretched, the stretched uh, liners. So that's a guy, rear end conversion to the Dominator project is complete. Robert, that's for you. going down today is we've got a, a new pilot pilot that just finished his simulator training and he's he's uh, he's under supervision with an instructor so I'm pretty much not gonna be doing anything I'm a relief pilot two of us are relief pilots to let them sleep the instructor and the new pilot he's qualified but he just needs to you know uh, get experience so he's the one that's gonna be doing landing and takeoff and I'm gonna be doing nothing just sitting there during a cruise in the dull dark hours of the night so I just showed you was a pre-flight walk around you walk around the airplane check that everything is set properly no malfunction you know all the surfaces are clear today there was no snow so usually if there's snow you check to see if there's snow because then you need de-icing and anti-icing everything looks clear looks good We're ready for uh, departure <laughs>
approaching minimums. Minimums. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. guys welcome back just got back it's been a long long flight I didn't sleep much you know okay let's address the the elephant in the room a lot of you guys are saying I look like Uncle, Uncle Fester with the black circles beyond you know around my eyes well guys I was born like that my grandfather had dark uh black eyes so get it over with make fun laugh write in the comments very funny but uh, I'm always like that Especially when I'm tired, I get it's really, really dark over here. So that's it. We're over with it. Anyway, uh, I just got back into my garage. I had a few things to fix. One main thing that I don't know if you noticed before. I'll show you a picture uh, when I was uh, uh, when I installed the Dominator, Dominator fender, and the stretch bags. My pipe, my pro pipe, wasn't centered properly. And no matter how uh, how much I try to, you know, get it. Uh, properly located it was still too close to the to the stretch bag so what i uh i actually looked uh i called up i called up advan black this is the this is the bracket that comes uh, usually on the pipe over here right here it goes it fits right there and there's a limit to how much you can twist the pipe and try to move it around it just won't move uh more than uh than that than you know than what this can give and the uh, Advan Black has this bracket over here. And as you can see, it's a U-shaped bracket and it gives you flexibility to move the whole pipe to push it in or to pull it out. Obviously after you, uh, you release the clamp over here, I took also these two, uh, these two clamps with the heat shield off. I released that so this, I could wiggle, you know, the, the, the slip on. Then I replaced the stock the stock plate that was uh, right inside this grommet over here. I just popped, popped that grommet out, took this out, and then put this, uh, let's call it a U-shaped, a U-shaped uh, bracket into the grommet. And then I put the whole grommet back in, and then I bolted these two bolts back in. And now I can literally, when I release these, I can move uh, the, the pipe right and left like two, three, four inches even. And I got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of space and a lot of options to, to get the right distance between uh, the Dominator fender and my, uh, on my stretch bag. You'll see it very soon. I'll show you a picture before and after. So that's one thing I fixed. It's a beautiful day out. I just can't let this day goes for waste to waste, so I'm gonna take the bike out, and today we're gonna to complete the final stage of padding and lining our uh, saddlebags with the Advan Black uh, bag liners. So I'm gonna take the bike out, do it, and then we're gonna show the whole progress from start to finish, how we did the whole conversion. So let me take the bike out. You've seen it, I have a full video how to apply the Advan Black saddlebag liners onto the, uh, to the bags. Now, for those of you that don't remember or didn't see my video, how to, uh, how to install the Advan Black saddlebag liners, I'll do a short, quick uh, explanation. As you can see, by the way, Advan Black, thank you so much. Thank you so much for sending out everything that I have. It really changed the bike. Thank you so much. These are the liners. These liners, uh, as you see, they're the stretched stretched uh, liners stretch bag liners I uh, for this uh, application I chose this time the red stitching previous I used black on black they have I think in blue they have in silver silver and I think they also have in uh, beige really nice options go go uh, go to their website www.advanblack.com and check out all the options anyway uh, they come with all the uh, things you need to install these are the backing of the liners is uh, one of the sides of the uh, Velcro. And let's put it, the negative is on this side and the positive 
is on this side. They give you a long, long, long uh, roll of uh, Velcro. This, you glue, you stick on into the bag itself, into all the uh, spots, preferably in the round the rim and on the bottom and all the spots where uh, there's a, a contour or there's a, a switch back or uh, an angle where you want the liner to stick on and to glue on. And you put those strips on, I'll do it right now, and then you place uh, the liner inside. First of all, let's clean up uh, the, uh, let's clean up the inside of the bag. The uh, three end tape, this is uh, the other side of the, is, uh, is a glue, is a tape that it sticks and adheres properly to the bag. There's one thing I don't have an answer for. There are two, uh, two designs of these uh, liners. There's the standard, which are the standard uh, non-stretch to Harley bags. And then there's the uh, four and a half inch stretch bags that Advan Black makes. So I'm not sure what fits uh, the Road Glide and Street Glide Special bags, which are pretty much a standard bag, but slightly longer. They're not completely stretched, they're slightly longer. So I don't know which one you have to choose. That's something you have to contact, I think, and ask Advan Black which liner you should get, the standard or the stretched. This is the hard part. The liners are still, it's cold out and they're stiff and it's hard to work with them. So it's a little bit of, uh, you know, fitting it and rolling it in. Eventually you get it. I like to start with this corner right here, this, this part, this bump. Okay, with a lot of with a lot of massaging the material I got it all in with time it's gonna conform even completely and uh, let's do the other side now I want you to see how many how much tape I put on it how much velcro I put all over all over mainly on the rim all around now I'm gonna to try to fit the liner inside a lot of stretching a lot of pulling a lot of uh, yeah fitting and rolling the material in till it forms and conforms to the bends and the curves of the inner part of the bag, but it's done with the saddlebag uh, liners. The quality is there, the beauty is there, and easy to install, very simple. Look at that, look at that black with the red stitching, fits my logo, my emblem, my caliper, and now the saddlebag liners inside. Really, really nice, both sides. How nice is that? So that's a guy rear end conversion to the Dominator. 
project is complete. Let's do a walk around. Uh, and as we go, let's remind you what we saw. First thing we did, first thing we did in this project, we uh, replaced the a dominator fender, we replaced the stock fender with the dominator fender, if you remember. I'll put a little video over here for you, for you to remember what it looked like. Then the next step that we did is we put uh, the stretched bags. We took the lids off my stock bags and put uh, the lids on the stretched bags by Advent Black. Next step was the stretched side covers. And finally, we completed the look with uh, the saddlebag liners. So let's look what it uh, looks like right now. That's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, really happy. Thanks so much to Advent Black for sending out all the stuff. It really, really changed the bike, really changed the look. I'm so happy with the way it came out. And Advent Black was actually very happy with the, with the results and with uh, the engagement. And on the way is a box, a box, a stack of more and more goodies for our next project. So stay tuned. And while we're waiting for those packages to arrive in the mail, I'd like to ask you guys to go to holyshift.us and pick up some merch for the raffle, for the sports to raffle. Uh, get yourself a hat, get yourself a package of entries, or just get yourself some merchandise from Israel. And that also has uh, entries included in it. So that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoy this video. You're watching Holy Shift. You're watching Holy Shift. I'm Sandy. Until the next video, guys, peace out.